Well, it's early June and I've come down to one of the many lakes in Epping Forest to see some of my favourite insects and they really are summer jewels. If you look carefully, you might see some of them buzzing around my head right now. The little iridescent flash of blue of damselflies and dragonflies as they search for a mate in amongst the iris leaves. They are amazing little insects. They can reach speeds of 40 miles an hour, 0 to 15 metres in one second, which is just incredible. They're also one of Earth's oldest life forms, and fossils have shown that dragonflies were buzzing around with the dinosaurs. Quite easy to tell them apart, dragonflies are bigger than damselflies, and they rest with their wings out at 90 degrees to their body, whereas damselflies like to rest with their wings back against their body. When damselflies and dragonflies first emerge from their waterborne larval stage, they're actually quite muted in colour. It can be several days, depending on the weather, before they develop their bright adult colours. So the common blue damselfly, like the ones that are buzzing around my head, actually emerges a kind of pinkish brown colour. It takes a few days before it becomes its nice adult sky blue. Here we've got an amorous pair of large red damselflies. And here are some more damselflies mating. This is definitely the love bush. Damselfly mating can take several hours. So they'll be there for quite some time. Although dragonflies have survived millions of years on Earth, they're currently in trouble. According to the British Dragonfly Society, an important wetland conservation society, in the last 40 years, Britain has lost three species of dragonfly and a third of the remainder are at risk of extinction in the UK. This is due to a loss of quality wetland areas and to pollution. Dragonflies are extremely susceptible to pollution which makes them a good indicator species because if dragonflies and damselflies are on a lake it's a good indication that the water quality and the ecosystem in general is in good condition. So judging by the sheer numbers of damselflies and dragonflies on this particular lake for now at least it looks like this lake is in very good condition.